What is happening there, Reject Nation? We finally got ourselves a Moon Knight official trailer. Koi Jandro, back on the channel. I'm here, I'm alive, I'm excited. Our Marvel Comics expert right yes. here. We're counting on you to give a, the best trailer review afterwards. Luckily, Moon Knight isn't dense or complicated or has gone through a series of cancellations and myriad of writers. It's a very linear character, easy to explain. All right, you have to wrap it up in like two minutes. Two Solid. minutes, we whole gotta, character. We've got what, watch time to worry about. All right. All right. I know, I know my place. This is content, yeah. all right? I talk slowly and calmly. There's only well. so much we can learn on Wikipedia before filming. As you guys know, I love Wikipedia hosts. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. I have a sleeping disorder. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Hello, and welcome to the <laughs> <Hello. laughs> I look forward to this already. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm losing it. Cutty. <laughs> cool. You're cheer on. You're bloody useless. Stevie. Steven. Mm. Yeah, I can't Steven. tell the difference. Between my eyes and dreams. dreams. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Awesome. Lost the contact <laughs> lens. Hope you find it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? Why did you call me Mark? Interesting, okay. Very difficult. Uh, oh, it's in your head. There's chaos in you. Wow. Um, the shadow of the moon knight. Oh, that was... Let's see it. <laughs> Is that a wolf? Boom! How <laughs> oh, nice. I love how they even changed the colors to it. You know, man, uh, is it uh, this? The shadow of Moon Knight. Did you catch like they, they was, he walked under the light and the the crescent moon? Oh, like yeah. that's oh, that's my that's one of my favorite moments from any trailer. This this uh this is is it too early to say that this might turn into my favorite one of the Marvel. That's not just me like talking hype. Uh, like <laughs> that, that is that is like, oh my God, that is exactly my kind of show right there. Like, I think that's the, the best trailer. The darkness, the supernatural elements, the variety of performance by mm -hmm. Oscar Isaac, because yeah, this confirms that he is going to be, we were like speculating before mm -hmm. the trailer started, of, will they get like different actors for some of the personalities? Which yeah. one seems to be the dominant personality though in this trailer? There seems to be one. Steven seems Steven, dominant, Steven seems like but the dominant I think one. that's a mislead because Mark okay. is in the comic books. The is dominant. the dominant he's, one, he's right? He's the mercenary that gets taken out by Bushmaster. Yes. And I assume that's a mislead on purpose because it's not a known character. Like, so maybe Steven is who we identify with in the first episode. Yeah. And therefore you think he's this more posh, well-to-do guy. And then maybe the second episode they introduce the cabbie and we've got a character and you're like, wait, why is he now this guy? And like we slowly find Mark. Maybe yes. we like uncover Mark, his true self. Yeah, what I'm loving about it is like how psychological it is. Mm -hmm. Like it's gonna deal with the fact of how this kind of plays on uh, disassociative identity disorder and the way how they visually represent that like the cracks in the mirrors and the different yeah. movie presences and the hallways and stuff like that was so cool to behold and Oscar and Isaac the ending, was gonna the, kill the, the it. cadence like that the flavor of the edit which I yeah. hope the show follows with man John what was your favorite part about it oh man just the, the whole vibe and atmosphere really I mean I like that this movie this trailer played more like a movie trailer than mm -hmm. a TV show trailer and you know it is a six episode contained series with the option of going beyond that and I think that this is the perfect way to just hook everybody for yeah the kind of ride we're into it looks like the kind of thing that's going to be very fraught and very paranoid and i love anything that has that quality where you know you've got flashes and echoes and what's real mm -hmm. which reflection is actually mine you know yeah. ethan hawk looks sinister you, you, as you know, i wonder if he's conchu he I don't would be conchu himself well, no no like a, like a, I, I said conchu but someone working directly for him like the voice of conchu like he okay gotcha like, i don't think he's the actual god but explain what that explain that a little bit for them so basically mark specter is killed in an incident 
uh, as a mercenary, ex-CIA, and he is dragged into an Egyptian temple where he isn't actually uh, alive or dead. He's basically revived in what he thinks is serving the god of Khonshu. He is the moon's knight, which is the Egyptian god of the night. And basically the powers he has. Yeah, and, yeah. So, and that's the difference between him and Batman. So like Batman is striking fear because he wants to avenge his parents. He's in love with the concept of vengeance. So it's not about a specific vengeance, it's vengeance incarnate, which is what makes this character mm -hmm. so interesting. He wears white as a threat. He wants you to see him. He believes in hurting yes. those that deserve it. And it's, and it's unilateral. It's anyone that deserves it. So he's striking fear for this God and he doesn't really have a power set. Like so, in some continuities, as the moon wanes, some of his powers increase. Like if there is some moon tie-ins, I don't know if they're gonna do that, but Khonshu himself is a voice that speaks to him. And there's some continuities where the voices in his head are catalyzed by Khonshu. Khonshu. There's also some where Khonshu saw him as a young child, waited till he was old enough, and then made him his mercenary like it was all faded. I don't know which ones are going to do. I'm assuming they'll do the one where it's later in life, he gets activated that causes the voices to materialize. There's two main voices, and then there's two supporting voices. Um, there's the inner child and the uh, Mr. Knight, which I think will come in later. And then there's Jake, as well as Steven. And I think we're going to get those very early on. Like I said, I think Mark will be uh, developed. The main yeah. human self will come. I don't know if any of that made sense. I think I, I, I know, I know, I, I know the anxiety of like, because I'm very tense as, as, as I was catching, we've done more than Wikipedia. Uh, like I was catching on to, I was catching on what you were saying, you said I'm like, okay, there might be some people who don't know what's going on. They're like, sure. we got all this Egyptian imagery in here. It looks like, like that. the trailer might have you believing that he gets it like at the museum artifact spot, but you see it, I think you see a pyramid at one point. It was kind of mm -hmm. moving by fast. So I imagine that his personality was eventually at one point in Egypt. And then he's probably just going to like, here are some authentic artifacts at this museum that are being called to me in some right. way. Like some people, I remember the teaser trailer came out. What do you think? Some people were saying it looks like a werewolf. Some people were saying it looks like Anubis. I mean, they've said that Egyptology is going to be a big part of the show. And so in that breath, I would imagine maybe something like that. But Moon Knight's origin also ties in with uh, Werewolf by Night, which I would just be so excited to see them breach further into, especially because this is also being billed as a scarier, more horror-centric series. Yeah. So, I mean, for, for my geeky heart, I would be thrilled by that. Although something a little more Egyptian would fit as well. You know what I really thought with Ethan Hawke? It's not exactly the same thing. There were vibes about parts of this trailer that were making me reminisce on the first Blade movie. Hmm. And oh. Steven Dorff, like the, the villainous yeah. presence that he had there, there was parts about Ethan Hawke that I was thinking of. I say that complimentary wise. Because Blade, that is like, I actually, I love that first movie. Started Marvel. And then, you know, we were thinking about the future of like a darker Avengers set, like the Midnight Suns, and having Blade possibly come into yeah. the mix here. And maybe Blade might camp, like he had a little voiceover cameo in Eternals post credit scene spoilers, by the way. Sorry, I don't should give it a heads up. But yeah, he yeah, had that cameo here. And I'm like, it would make more sense for even Blade to appear here, if they're like a, teasing his appearances as guest starring, how neat would that be? And the revived here, I'm like, I could totally see Blade guest starring in this show. And spoilers for No Way Home, Daredevil also allows, this can set the precedent for a dark show to allow Daredevil to be as dark, yes. since it is canon to the Netflix show, which is much dar darker than the MCU. This would allow that universe to exist alongside the MCU. You can do a Marvel yes. Knights, you can do something with Daredevil, like that more ultra violence. Well, that's one of the things I was really gravitated towards about this trailer was when you're hearing Moon Knight, when you're learning about him, you're like, wow, this sounds like this would have to be a really dark, almost like closer to the Netflix shows than mm -hmm. any of the other Disney Plus shows Looks that we've gotten so far. Other than some, you know, certain shots that look really pop in the colors in that MCU fashion, for the most part, the tone, the mood, the atmosphere of it. Like, I want to get a better sense of the atmosphere, honestly, because I'm like, we've got like that cool music that I, that I thought complemented the trailer mm -hmm. well, but I do want to get a better sense of like, what will some of these scenes feel like? And so far, I'm loving it. Can I say like the directing in this? Uh, two of my buddies, I love these guys to death. Justin and Aaron are, are two of the best directors working and I'm honored to call them friends. They made Is that this... the only reason you're recommending this? I'm Yes, I'm only here for them. So uh, if you haven't seen Spring, if you haven't seen Synchronic, if you haven't seen The Endless, check out their work. The reason I think they suit this so well is they do this insane existential pondering, this otherworldly, this, this atmospheric tone that's going to suit this so well. They're like HP Lovecraft vibes that I think are going to really tie into how this mythology looks visually. Yeah. And yeah. both of these guys are, they've done everything on a set. They've done every single job on a set and now they're directing one of the coolest, most hard to discern characters. So these guys are gonna be so hands-on, they're gonna make this their own. And that's why I think this looks so unique is Justin and Aaron are geniuses and this is gonna show for it. So uh, can we have them on the channel for an interview? I mean, we'll send them this link. We'll be like, hey, Justin and Aaron. 
I'll text them. Yeah, if they're your real friends, they'll uh, text them right watch now. this video like, and then they'll. That's uh, true. We'll test them. <laughs> yeah, we'll we're see if it's a one way see if you retweet this in Directors of Moon Knight. Yeah, great guys. Love you guys. No pressure. I'm not intimidated. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're done here. But they're styling. Uh, I think that was yeah, no, the name drop. Yeah, yeah. It was because if you've seen Spring, The Endless, or Synchronic, which I recommend you do. In fact, homework, if you want to understand Moon Knight, check out their work. Also check out Lemire's run, the Ellis run, Bendis' run, Sienkiewicz's art, any of that stuff to give you the flavor of this book. You know, you don't have to feed the whole cattle if, all the time. You know, I only gave four <laughs> arcs. It's been around since the 70s. Just I like, gave a taste. It's a dump of information Warren here. Warren Ellis, Jeff Lemire. The Subscribe if you're too. interested. Kevin, I'll give you more thoughts down below on Moon Knight. Want. Follow Koi because he knows crap. Some more comics. Uh, look, guys, we'll see you soon.